Here's the trick in this game. There is no right or wrong way to get it done. There is no one way, one voice, one personality, one shape to a production. There's not. If there were, there would just really be one mixer or there'd be a hundred thousand mixers all doing one sound. Like that's just not how art works. Welcome to Kush After Hours. My name's Gregory Scott. And tonight I want to talk to you all about what I think is one of the biggest impediments to getting songs done, to getting work finished. Uh, there are a lot of impediments, to be clear, and I still wrestle with a great many myself. The modern digital workstation, which I love, and those I am not going back to an old analog workflow. I've been there. I learned on it. What I'm here to talk to you about is how easy it is in these workstations to go backwards. Oh God, who was it that I first heard this from? I believe it was Shelly Yakas. Shelly said, respect the work. And what he was talking about in particular was when you've got a mix going, kind of almost at any stage, like if you're in the first like 20, 30 minutes or so, depending on how fast you work, the first 20 or 30 minutes, which for me is like the first 20% of a mix, I would say I get I get a solid foundation in the first half hour. However long, maybe it takes you three days to get a solid foundation. From that point forward, when you're like, okay, I have what I think is a decent, reasonable starting place for the identity of this mix. You have a direction. When you get to that point, from that point forward, do your level best. And this is going to be tricky at first if you're not in this kind of habit. Do your level best to respect the choices that you make and the work that you do and keep building on it. Just a, a concrete example. Let's just say you get a, a rough drum mix together and you got some semblance of compression on the drums and the EQ is kind of like, all right, there's, there's some EQ there. That's cool. Then you get the bass in place and you're like, okay, I kind of got a groove happening here. And then let's just say, I don't know, at some point you start to feel like you've maybe hit a wall and you're like, ah, oh, shoot, this, this isn't working. There's some sort of a judgment where the conclusion from that judgment is to go back in and really like radically, fundamentally alter what you've done. I'm going to advise you to not do that. Really, truly, respect the work that you did. That's Those are Shelley's words. And what I'm thinking is you had an instinct. Trust that instinct and keep going. A lot of times when you hit those walls, you just need to take a break. You just need to get some sort of a perspective refresh. Walk your dog, get some fresh air, take a nap, drink a bottle of whiskey. I don't care. Whatever you do. But the thing is that you need to go a lot farther. Uh, it's, it can be a sort of a, a novice to intermediate kind of cognitive error to think, ah, this isn't coming together. This isn't working. You think you know why it's not working. And the way to fix that is to kind of pull apart what you've done. And speaking from experience, and I know I'm not alone in this, the problem with that is that if you haven't figured this out by now, mixing really is highly interdependent, extremely complex, somewhat random, somewhat scientific arrangement of synchronized relationships. We've talked about everything affecting everything. Like it's no joke. And so the problem with like, is what you're doing is you're like pulling a thread on a sweater. And as soon as that thread comes loose and then you're like, ah, oh, shit. And it, there is no getting that weave back in the fabric. You just, at some point, you just have to snip that thread or throw the shirt away. End of analogy. The point is, do not go shredding your work like that. Number one, it's dispiriting. It just like, it takes the life out of you. Puts a hold on the project. Progress gets knocked back. If you have any collaborators, it's going to erode their trust a little bit. It's going to erode your own trust in your instincts. But most importantly, I think, it's learning a counterproductive habit. Like, because in my experience, there is almost always multiple paths forward from whatever is there. You can hand me a project mixed in any fashion, and odds are I can find ways to add to what was done. Primarily, just adding to, building on, reshaping, contouring, things like that and bring it home in a way that like hits the way that you want it to hit. Now, maybe
maybe I would think if I were to do this from scratch, I would do some or all of that very differently. But that's not really the point. Here's the trick in this game. And you have to remind, sometimes you have to, I just, sometimes we have to remind ourselves over and over and over again. There is no right or wrong way to get it done. There is no one way, one voice, one personality, one shape to a production. There's not. If there were, there would just really be one mixer or there'd be a hundred thousand mixers all doing one sound. Like that's just not how art works. The interesting flip side to that is that kind of like no matter how you mix the song, no matter how many ways you come at it, you can tear it apart and start over. You can save it as, close it, start a new session with a blank canvas. If you're at all like me and every other mixer I've ever known, when you get to the finish line, say you mix a song 10 different times, it's really gonna sound kind of the same. They're gonna feel kind of the same. Some may have a little more of this, a little better of that. But generally speaking, the more you have, like, oh, I like this mix because it. Blah, blah, blah. there's something else it doesn't have, but this one over here does. Right? So there's no perfect mix. There's no one way. There's no one true path on any production. And that's why just whatever you've built up, trust that. Also, from a practical perspective, I'm here to tell you that if your instincts made you do A, B, C, and D, and then you tear that down, you're the same you with the same instincts working on the same song. You haven't learned anything meaningful. Most meaningful learning happens when a project is done and you've moved on and you have a little bit of perspective and you can integrate and the brain just puts all the memories together and synthesizes stuff. And then you've listened to it a week, three weeks, four months later, you've listened and you're like, then you start really hearing and analyzing from a detached perspective all the things that you did wrong, the things you'd like to do better, ideas for how to come at things a little differently, more efficiently or whatever. None of that happens on a work in progress in my experience because it's just not, it's not how we learn. We have to complete it to really, really get it. You can improve skills along the way, but integrating and synthesizing, mm, I would bet a lot of money that if you built a song up a certain way and then decide, hmm, I'm going to do something very different and you reset it and you start over again, one of two things is going to happen. You're going to end up in the same exact place, like meaningfully, it's going to sound and feel exactly the same. Or you're going to end up somewhere that's just so horrible. You're going to be like, you're going to pause, you're going to listen back to the other one and be like, okay, this is where I'm at now. Where did I get with the other one? You're going to, and right away, you're like, oh, crap, I was on the right track. That was so much better. I just was rocking it. So if you can, it's hard. Sometimes it's really hard because you're just like, oh, you feel like you've painted yourself into a corner or whatnot. But really, in those moments, just get away from it. Get out of the studio. Take a break. It can be the hardest thing in the world to just set something down when we're obsessively trying to land. You just know there's something to be found. Like there's, If I just dig a little deeper, I'll find the gold. And that is true. But you have to give your body and your hands a rest. You gotta get the dirt out from under your fingernails. You gotta have a beer, whatever. That's my rant for the evening. Keep moving forward both philosophically and pragmatically don't tear down the work that you've done have faith trust your instincts get, get done my name's gregory scott that's all i got for tonight it's a wrap thanks for listening talk to you soon